Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks and in this replay we have Mini Dirty Deeds in The Big Bad Boy Part 2. It is the American Tier 9 Tank Destroyer, the T-95, the Snug, the Snail, whatever you want to call it. This vehicle will just always deliver in a very decent matchup. Tier 9, Tier 8, Top Tier is always nice to have. And uh, yeah, I guess, I guess Mini Dirty Deeds is going for marks because... My goodness, a very healthy amount of gold, as you can see over here. 320 penetration APCR rounds. The regular rounds are really good, 276 millimeters of AP penetration. Um, so personally, I would go with a few AP rounds just in case, you know, for the better matchups. But mini dirty deeds might try to go for those marks. So going with gold only. And unfortunately can't catch the links that is pushing on the hill over here. And because this is kind of an older replay from a few patches ago, I can't really see the equipment, unfortunately, so we're going to have to uh, to try and play detective and figure out what equipment Mini Dirty Deeds is using. We can see that they are using hardening. 2000 HP um, is more than the base 1800 that this vehicle gets. Maybe we can see if there's a turbo as well. The vehicle goes forwards at 20 kilometers an hour. Uh, top speed with a 10 reverse speed so we're gonna have to, to, to check that out later when mini dirty deeds will go forwards maybe but they'll get one to the iron army can we get it easy into this oh, it's just so good it's just so good 847 damage i mean the alpha is 750 but even 750 is more than enough right so t95 why is it one of the the big bad boys right well this vehicle is very heavily armored and as you can see there is a turbo going up to 24 kilometers an hour over here um so t95 very heavily armored very difficult to go through that vehicle unless you actually shoot the capola or maybe sometimes you have very high penetration goal rounds that can go through the low plate of the vehicle as well but combine the very heavily armored profile very low profile of the vehicle with this huge 155 millimeter gun and yeah and yes, you will be doing a lot of damage. You just need to drive forwards and actually switch to HE for the Boresque. Can we get an HE shell into the Boresque here? No, yes, no, maybe. It's, uh, uh, this is the juicy one. This is the juicy one. Please. Oh, 890, which is actually a low roll. 950 is the average damage with the HE rounds. But I mean, we're not going to complain about an almost 900 damage run over here and then we get first shell bounced off the st1 i mean the st1 bounced off of us of course switching back to apcr see if we can catch the st1 over there the tier 9 russian heavy tank anyway i should go back to what makes the t95 special right big gun big boy armor unfortunately the st1 actually goes through with a heat round i guess either hitting the capola or the low plate like i said Earlier, they're getting to the side of the IS-3, finishing with 609 damage over here. So, my goodness, this vehicle doesn't have a lot of view range with 360 meters of base view range. It doesn't have very high DPM, but it packs a punch. So, once you do make those trades, you go forwards, put the shell in, then fall back. You will find it, that you will be very successful in this vehicle. And this is actually the vehicle with uh, one of the highest win rates and win rate differentials at tier 9 uh, kind of competing with the overpowered tier 9 premium tanks the concept won't be and the compounds of 50 trying to catch the tortoise another very heavily armored i mean you can get watch part of one right about the big bad boys which is about the tortoise um they can't unfortunately penetrate the capola on that vehicle i guess didn't hit the capola area but yeah, the tortoise very heavily armored as well. It's kind of like the battle of the beasts over here. The two chunky boys fighting against each other. There's a Scorpion G. That is definitely not a heavily armored vehicle. Can we catch a Scorpion G? Can we get a big chunky shell in? <laughs> 986 HG damage against the Scorpion G. It's just delicious. But now this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Trying to turn towards the S1. Unfortunately, the Scorpion G catches in the track. Track damage is never good. SD1. 
getting behind his car, let the ST1 get behind us, put one into the vehicle, actually penetrating, and now the ST1 is sitting on many dirty deeds, and now that you're losing a lot of HP, that is not good, and the Scorpion is pushing forwards, luckily the shot fit turn forward with the same amazing support by the tier 9 French medium tank which is now unfortunately getting overwhelmed by French light tanks. My goodness, what is happening over here? And the tortoise is pushing forwards, trying to go through the weaker area. Like, you have the machine gun port on the right, on the left side of the tortoise, but it's going to be on the right side if you look at it. Um, is it really a weak spot? I mean, it's weak only for 320 millimeter rounds, right? It will be obviously weaker than anywhere else on the vehicle, but it's still not very uh, weak. Can you finish off the links over here? The links gets behind us. This is not good. This is not good. A one shot of 182 HP is not a lot, but the tortoise is shut down over here. That is a huge, huge thing to have over here with the links. That links is cheeky. It is sneaky. What is it going to do? Is it trying to run away? Looks like the Lynx is trying to actually escape this situation. Can Mini Dirty Deeds catch the Lynx? There we go into the Lynx. Finishing off the very cheeky tier rate. French wheeled light tank. My goodness. My goodness. It's only Mini Dirty Deeds and one CC Mark II, which is one of the best tier 9 vehicles as well. Like, it, it could have been added to the big bad boys, you know, but um, not this time. But not this time. It does shut the 430 down. Unfortunately, getting shut down by the Progetto 46, making this game a 1v5 for a second, but now it's a 1v4 once again. Okay. Mini Dirty Deeds, 182 HP against four enemy vehicles. So they actually have two auto loaders, one auto reloader, and the Konza Panzer can finish off this even 90. Can't miss this one. There we go, actually, I'm <laughs> wrecking the tiny French light. But the Progetto getting behind us. Luckily, the Progetto flips his vehicle. Oh no. Oh no, we need to watch out though. The risen auto flip mechanic. That means that if you wait 15 seconds, the Progetto will be able to flip themselves back up and shoot Mini Dirty Deeds into the side. Luckily, Mini Dirty Deeds knows about this mechanic and goes to shut down the Progetto 46. Okay, Kunzapanzer going all in. Kunzapanzer is not a one shot, unfortunately, 975 HP. Need to watch out. It can't get penned over here. <laughs> okay, going for an HE switch. Trying to go for the one shot into the back side of the Kunzapanzer. Is this a big brain play? It is, but the game says no. The game just said no. Not high rolling for slightly like we need it, but actually uh, low rolling, unfortunately, against the Konza Panzer over there. That was actually a really, really good decision by Mini Dirty Deeds. Can we count the Konza Panzer over there? Trying to go for the blind, unfortunately, that misses, and the 40T gets behind us. This is not looking good now. No! 40T, luckily, goes through the track. Bounces. Need to avoid getting into the Capola. Can we catch the 40T over here? Can't have the Kunza Panzer shooting you in the side. Don't let the 40T shoot you. Shoot, shoot. Oh my goodness, shoot it. There we go. That was, that was so weird. And the Kunza Panzer bounces off the side. There's a chance. There's a chance, but the Kunza Panzer still has one more shell before we can reload ours. Is Mini Dirty D's good? Okay. Kunza Panzer actually shot the wall in front of them, and now it's a 1v1. My goodness. That 40T. That 40T almost got us there. And the Kunza, and everyone basically almost got Mini Dirty D's over here. But now from a 1v5 into a 1v1. What is Mini Dirty Deeds going to do over here? Against a one-shot Konza Panzer. There he is. There's the Konza Panzer. Trying to shoot the Konza Panzer. Missing the Konza Panzer. That means the Konza Panzer can actually shoot us over here. But for some reason the Konza Panzer is not going forwards. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. Where is he going to come from next? Mini Dirty Deeds is not waiting to find out. Going forwards. Pushing into the consequences, it's actually pushing at the same time, and that means the consequences can actually catch the side of Mini Dirty Deeds. Luckily, the traverse speed is good enough, and one into the Kunza Panzer to end the very cheeky tier 9 German medium tank. Lovely stuff by Mini Dirty Deeds over here. It was just like, just, just look at the graveyard, just look at the graveyard that was created over there. So many vehicles destroyed in this area. Progetto. 40T, Konzapanzer, Scorpion, Lynx, SD1, the Borask, the IS-3, the Even... That's just crazy, crazy stuff by Mini Dirty Deeds in a crazy vehicle. Like I said, those very heavily armored vehicles are just so good. They're just so powerful. And there is a reason, you know, why they actually have the highest win rates 
inside the game because they basically give your team kind of like another heavy tank and uh, if you've seen one of the streams i always say that the top tier heavy is probably the most important vehicle in this game at the moment because they're just so versatile these days they can block damage they can do damage they can hold flanks they can push through flanks and that is something that a lot of the other vehicle classes can't really do as effectively so when you basically have an extra heavy tank to help push through a flank it's just going to help you win a lot of games so if you do plan on going for the tortoise from part one or the t95 from this video um, make sure that you're not going to be sitting at the back please and thank you these vehicles are not meant for sniping they're not meant to be uh, backline brawlers they're meant to be in the front lines they're meant to be in the face of their enemies using the armor using the big damage that the t95 has or the tortoise with the amazing dpm that it has and the amazing armor just get in just get stuck in there do the damage block the shells because you do have very very strong armor and yeah this is why i guess those two vehicles are the big bad boys of tier 9 in world of tanks um so mini dirty deeds amazing game over here 10,154 damage nine kills almost almost a pulse medal unfortunately needed only one more kill to get that medal um yeah amazing game how amazing was this game let's go and have a quick look into the post game stats there we go ace tanker obviously for the 1956 base experience and a bunch of ribbons the radley walters medal for destroying eight or nine vehicles and nine in this case color panels for standing one against five enemy vehicles and emerging victorious a spartan for surviving a ricochet or non-penetrating shot from an enemy vehicle while your vehicle has less than 10 percent of its hit points and i mean we survived quite a few of those a few, like a few shells from the 40t from the Konza Panzer. it's just like even when you have 180 hp right you're never out of the battle steel wall for blocking 4890 damage which is enough to finish this vehicle twice and then some um a high caliber obviously for the 10154 damage top gun for six kills at least in this case nine and yeah amazing result over here amazing stuff by mini dirty deeds firing 19 rounds hitting 16 and having 15 of those penetrate so like the only one that didn't penetrate was against the tortoise right from long range which is why i said earlier you shouldn't fight at long ranges these vehicles are not built for that should be in their face just shooting into their weak spots and kind of like going come at me bro i'm bigger i'm stronger i have a bigger gun what are you going to do just kind of bully your enemies go into their face shoot them and uh, yeah amazing ratio by Mini Dirty Deeds over here, 10,154 damage, like we said, 847 from a distance of more than 300 meters, so only like the um, the shot at the start against the Iron Army. 18 hits received, 3 penetrated, and 15 did not penetrate. It's just insane the amount of bounces you can have with this vehicle. 4,890 damage, not quite the armor. Two vehicles spotted, which is rather surprising. This vehicle is definitely not built for spotting. 360 meters of base view range is is not even close to being enough in most cases only when you're like pushing into the enemy heavies and you're going first or something that is kind of the only way to spot things uh with a t95 but yeah 12 vehicles damaged nine destroyed and uh, not traveling too much but i mean do you really need to travel too much with your t95 no you need to go to your flank you need to push through your flank and win the game that is basically it and that is exactly what mini dirty deeds did over here so ninety-four thousand credit profit which is actually really surprising considering the amount of gold that was fired in this battle which is basically only except for the few he rounds that were fired as well i actually really liked the uh the intuition switch to he to go after the barask the scorpion g and the kunza panzer that was a lovely play i didn't think that that i wouldn't have thought of that at all my brain was like, okay, he's a two-shot, deal with it, but no. Mini Dirty Deeds was like, okay, if I get a high roll with HE, I might be able to finish him off with one shell. That was a really, really good switch. Unfortunately, the game decided that, uh, no, no thank you. But I really, really like it when players actually use intuition, switch the shells around, 
shoot the right vehicle with the right ammunition type. I absolutely love those battles. Um, so yeah, getting credits in this type of battle is always nice. And that is basically it. 17,604 experience earned from uh, missions and all sorts of uh, personal reserves bonuses. 956 free XP earned. Absolutely amazing stuff over here. Mini Dirty Deeds. GG. Well played. Absolutely crazy game. When you get 10k at tier 9, it's just, it's insane. 9 kills as well. Always nice to have Kolobanovs. You know, amazing stuff. GG. Well played. Mini Dirty Deeds. Uh, but yeah, this is it for this video. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the T95? Do you like the T95? Dislike the T95? I think it's too good. Not good enough. Good as is, right? Maybe doesn't need any attention at the moment. Um, but also let me know what you think of kind of videos that are split, part one, part two. If you enjoy those, let me know in the comments down below and I will try to make more of those. Uh, but yeah, this is it for this video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Tata, people have a good one.